Hello everyone, myself Dr. Suresh, Professor of Biochemistry and in this video I will be teaching you the de novo synthesis of fatty acids. So we are all aware and in our previous videos we have discussed about the beta oxidation of fatty acids that means how the fatty acids are degrading and producing energy. Same way as like carbohydrates, how glucose is oxidizing to produce energy, same way our body cells has got capability to synthesize glucose, right. Here the difference is glucose, how it is oxidizing, same way how glucose is generated. That means glycolysis first pathway of glucose oxidation and gluconeogens, they are a bit similar. That means gluconeogens is, is partly reversal of glycolysis. But in case of fatty acids, okay, how fatty acids are oxidizing, but the pathway how fatty acids synthesizing are not similar. So remember, fatty acid synthesis is not reversal of fatty acid oxidation as like carbohydrates. Okay. And the pathway where it is taking place, okay, as we have learned, beta oxidation is taking place in mitochondria and this de novo synthesis of fatty acid taking place in cytoplasm. So that's why this de novo synthesis referred as extra mitochondrial or cytoplasmic fatty acid synthase system. The major fatty acid synthesized in our body that is in de novo pathway that is palmitic acid. Palmitic acid, it is a 16 carbon saturated fatty acid so we know the difference saturated and unsaturated saturated fatty acids where there is no existence of double bonds but in case of unsaturated fatty acids they do have double bonds okay and where this pathway is taking place this pathway is taking place in liver adipose tissue kidney brain and mammary gland so you, you can make out here adipose tissue where majority of lipids like TAG will be stored okay when we want energy this TAG will be broken down to separate fatty acids and glycerol okay and fatty acids will be undergoing beta oxidation right so these are all the main places where the fatty acids stored adipose I mean liver adipose tissue kidney brain and mammary gland so the fatty acids and this is also obviously taking place in these organs Transport of acetyl coa to cytoplasm. So, what is the starting material for fatty acid synthesis? So, in case of uh, gluconeogenesis in carbohydrates, what you have studied, like synthesis of glucose from non carbohydrate sources, okay, like uh, pyruvate, lactate, or glycerol, okay, and from the gluconeogenic amino acid. So, same way here, to synthesize a fatty acid, we require a starting substance, and here the starting substance is acetyl coa. So, don't get confused. Yes, acetyl coa is required for TCS cycle. Okay, it is a starting substance when it combines with oxalostate to produce citric acid. But do remember, acetyl CoA, apart from its involvement in TC cycle, it do have got a lot of other functions such as lipid synthesis and ketone body synthesis. So, here we are discussing about uh, fatty acid synthesis. So, let us talk about this a lot. Right. So, acetyl CoA is formed inside the mitochondria from pyruvate. So, what we have learned, you see here, acetyl CoA is there inside the mitochondria. But fatty acid synthesis is taking place in outside the mitochondria, that means cytoplasm, right. So, how this acetyl CoA will be coming or moving out of the mitochondria to cytoplasm, okay. So, that is the main pre-requirement for fatty acid synthesis. So, acetyl CoA, that will be like how it has been formed inside, like suppose in case of uh, glycolysis, the end product is pyruvate. The pyruvate that is entering into mitochondria via acetyl CoA formation. The same way here, how the acetyl CoA entered, the same way it has to come out. So, we will see what are the mechanisms involved to get this acetyl CoA out of the mitochondria. So, as we are all aware, acetyl CoA is not directly transported. Pyruvate cannot be transported inside mitochondria. So, it has to be converted into acetyl CoA then enter into mitochondria. In mitochondria, the acetyl CoA, it has to enter into TCA cycle. Fine. So, for, for us here in fatty acid synthesis, this acetyl CoA has to get out of the mitochondria. For that, acetyl CoA, there is no transport mechanism to transport acetyl CoA directly into cytoplasm. So, it has, has to find the ways how it has to get out of the mitochondria. So, one such mechanism is acetyl CoA will be delivered to cytoplasm via citrate formation. In cytoplasm, Citrate is cleaved to oxalostate and acetyl CoA in cytoplasm. You see, remember, acetyl CoA is a two carbon compound, and whereas a citric acid is a six carbon compound, and oxalostate is a four carbon compound. 
So when the citrate came out of the mitochondria, it will be split into 4 plus 2. Here acetyl-CoA is 2 carbon compound and oxalate is a 4 carbon compound. So here to for this cleave, okay, the enzyme which is helpful that is ATP citrate lyase, the oxalate state that can be returned into mitochondria as malate or pyruvate. Again, oxal the, the main purpose here, the acetyl-CoA citrate cycle, first whatever the citrate is formed, I mean excess of citrate in case like TC cycle has to be happened in case of excess of, I mean when we require energy. But we are already sufficient of energy, what to do with the excess of uh, acetyl-CoA? Acetyl-CoA converted to citrate and this excess of citrate will be transported out of the mitochondria and in cytoplasm once it reached and this 6 carbon citrate will be cleaved to 4 carbon oxalate state and 2 carbon acetyl-CoA. And this 4 carbon oxalate state again will be entering into mitochondria as malate or pyruvate okay and involved in TCA cycle and what the product we want that is acetyl-CoA required for fatty acid synthesis that will be utilized. Now transfer of acetyl-CoA we will see in this diagrammatic representation okay how the acetyl-CoA is transferred to mitochondria to cytoplasm by malate oxaloacetate shuttle. So this shuttle what we can hear yes though citric acid is involved and there is a formation of acetyl-CoA but the major products has to be formed here is malate and oxaloacetate. So that's why for fatty acid synthesis the transport of acetyl-CoA from mitochondria to cytoplasm mainly by malate oxaloacetate shuttle. Okay, here you see the mitochondrial membrane, inner and outer mitochondrial membranes are there and here what we have learned, uh, fatty acid synthesis will be taking place in cytoplasm. So here acetyl-CoA is there in mitochondria and it has to get out. So this acetyl-CoA will be converted to citrate and there is an existence of citrate transporter in mitochondrial membrane. So which pull out the citrate out of the mitochondria and this citrate will be cleaved to acetyl-CoA and oxaloacetate. You see here oxaloacetate is a 4 carbon, acetyl-CoA is a 2 carbon and this acetyl-CoA will be involved in production of fatty acid and 4 carbon oxaloacetate will be converted to malate and there is a like how citrate transporters are there in mitochondrial membrane, they do existence of malate transporters. So they carry malate from cytoplasm to mitochondria and this malate again involved in making of oxalate state and again it involved in making of citrate. It is like cycle. So that's why it is known as malate oxalate state shuttle. So we'll see now as we uh, discussed in the beginning like how gluconeogens and glycolysis are similar or different like this. Here we'll compare synthesis part of uh, fatty acid and breakdown part of fatty acid. So breakdown of fatty acid is known as popularly beta oxidation. So at a time two carbons will be uh, removed that means at the beta carbon right. So you see here degradation beta oxidation and fatty acid synthesis. So where they are taking place site it is in mitochondria and fatty acid synthesis in cytoplasm. Remember fatty acid synthesis is taking place in cytoplasm and the fatty acids breakdown is taking place in mitochondria because if the two pathways are taking place in the one subcellular organelle what is the use? This, uh, the mechanism which produces fatty acid and the mechanism next to it will be breaking the fatty acid. So there is no point. So that's the reason these pathways are existed in different subcellular organelles. And intermediates, so present as CoA derivatives and covalently linked to sulfur groups of acyl carnitine phosphate. Okay, acyl carnitine phosphate. Okay. And enzymes, so present as independent proteins. And here in fatty acid synthesis, the enzymes present as multi enzyme complex. So here the main enzyme is fatty acid synthase which is a complex it is a group of enzymes so that's why this is known as fatty acid synthase multi enzyme complex and sequential units in beta oxidation two units two carbon units will be splitted as acetyl coa and in fatty acid synthesis because we have to synthesize fatty acids like there are um, short chain fatty acids medium chain fatty acids medium chain fatty acids they do exist still up to 16 carbon long chain fatty acids above 18 carbons so here sequential addition of two two carbons at a time to make concern fatty acid. So, two carbon units added as three carbon melanyl OA. So, that's all about the differences between the beta oxidation and fatty acid. Thanks for listening. Thank you.